Hello there, did you know that potions are a thing? If you do, most likely you won't know where to start. Well, don't fret, we have a full potion guide on where to start. Okay, okay. let's get into the basics, starting with making potions. Okay, so how making potions work is you put a bunch of ingredients in the pot and make a potion out of all, those, out of all the buffs those materials have combined. But ingredients that aren't the same would decrease some stats of others. Here's an example. So we have a chalky bean, which sums up to 18 health and 50% increased speed for 9 seconds. Here, we have a Sinister Fruit, which sums up to 30 health and 50% of your max health. If we combine them together, we'll get 37 health, 50% of your max health, and 11% speed for 15 seconds. You may be wondering, why do they decrease the speed, but increase the duration? Well, I don't fucking know. I'm just making this video for shits and giggles. Okay, let's ignore that for now. Now that you know the, ba the very basics, very, very real basics, let's get into the materials. I'll separate them into three categories, fruits, miscellaneous, and filler. Starting with fruits. Fruits are the basic ingredients that will be the staple for your potions. Okay, now let's talk about all the fruits, their buffs, and how to acquire them. Before we get into the fruits, most of these fruits can be bought from Palm, an apple merchant that's in the forest, and all these stats are coming from, from putting one of each in the pot. Let's get back to the fruits. Apple heals 22 health and can be bought from Palm or from trees at the prairie. Redberry heals 30 HP and can be bought from Palm or drops from trees in the forest. Blueberry heals 15 mana and can be bought from Palm or drops from trees in the forest. Lime heals 11% of max mana and heals 12 mana and can be bought from Palm or from tr or drop from trees in the desert or savanna. Coconut heals 15 health and 11% increased speed for 15 seconds and can be bought from palm or trees by the shore. Swamp Apple heals 33 health and 7% increased speed for 7 seconds can be dropped from trees in the swamp. Lemon heals 7% of max health, heals 15 health and 2 health per second for 10 seconds can be bought from palm or dropped from trees in the desert or savanna. Orange 7% reduced mana for 15 for 5 5 seconds can be bought from palm Sinister Fruit heals 50% of max health and heals 30 health, can be bought from palm or dropped from trees at the Sinister Sea. Rageberry, 3% increased melee damage for 12 seconds, can be bought from palm or dropped from imps in the volcano. Okay, that's all the fruits I know of, now on to the miscellaneous ingredients. Miscellaneous materials are materials that are just aren't fruits. Sea Bass, 2 mana per second for 7 seconds, can be acquired through fishing at the Sinister Sea. Salmon. Heals 50% of max HP and 3 HP per second for 10 seconds can be acquired from fishing at Big Bay. Splash Powder. Turns every potion into a throwable, can be bought from Palm. Secret Spore. Turn invisible for 25 seconds and can be acquired from Old Fart. Green Tea Bag. 7% reduced mana cost for, 70, I mean for 60 seconds and 1 minute per second for 60 seconds can be bought from Pot Cup. Breakfast Tea Bag. 1 health per second for 60 seconds. Heals 5% of max health and 4% increased speed for 60 seconds can be bought from Pot Cut. Scrap Metal, 4 increased defense for 15 seconds can be acquired from Yalgaroth, Fishing, and Daedalus Drone. Muta Tulip, 50% reduced mana cost for 15 seconds and 49.08 reduced mana regen for 15 seconds can be acquired from Cloud Islands. Arc Energy, 4% increased magic damage for 9 seconds can be acquired from Arc Mage. Stoneflower, 6 increased defense for 20 seconds can be acquired from the place where Granny spawns. Gold Dust, 12% increased gold for 15 seconds can be bought from Mela. Sugar, 20% increased speed for 5 seconds can be bought from Pong. Okay, now onto the fillers. Fillers are materials that need other materials for it to function, like blue slime, green slime, pink slime, magma slime, venom gland, and shrimp need other materials for it to function. I'm not going to explain their functions because all they do is increase durations of certain effects or increase the effectiveness of buffs. Okay, now that we're done with materials, miscellaneous items, and fillers, I'm going to show some of my favorite potions, such as green tea and regular tea. And the reason why they're so good is because they, they were basically they last for a very long time, they're cheap, and the buffs are actually pretty good. They're just they're just nice to have. Five sister fruits for a high burst of healing, or three sinister fruits and two lemons for more healing, but a little slower than five sinister fruits. The three sinister fruit and two lemon recipe is from Yuma Was Taken. Go subscribe to them and check out their content for this amazing recipe. Five rage berries or 
Rage Berries plus any amount of Venom Glands is amazing for increased melee damage. It doesn't last as long as five Rage Berries, but having at least, like, a, you get a lot of damage out of this. And, of course, Secret Soup for trolling people by going invisible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and like and subscribed. It took me quite a bit to make this video. And go like my Mondo plus Challenge Metal video if you want me to do a hardcore series. And that's all there is to say. See you next time.